would uh, give y'all an update. The SWAT Church ministry is just, woo! Jesus is Lord, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. I love some people. Love, love, love some people. So yesterday, uh, Sister Jeanette and I went out to um, the parking lot, the abandoned parking lot, and put our little signs up, free water, random acts of kindness, snack bags, and uh, Sister Mary and Sister Brenda were having their yard sale. And uh, we're setting up and everything, and um, it was beautiful. It was like it was cool, and the sun was so nice and warm. It's like, yeah, thank you, Jesus. We finally got a break in the weather. So we're setting up the tent, and the guy that um, he oversees the parking lot. Yeah, the realtor. a technical difficulty when the phone falls yeah and um i mean seriously in the floor too do you seen that right but uh, anyhow the realtor came by and uh, i don't know if he remembered or not but he looked like he was wanting to collect his 30 dollars for us you know doing a yard sale and i'm like no you know you remember you gave us permission to be here and everything and we're, we're giving everything away it was so cool Sister Janetta seriously ministered to this guy. <laughs> she told him, yeah, you know, all them people in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, they ain't gonna make it. They just straight up, oh, hello. Yeah, I need to get one of them phone holder thingies because mine broke. Eh, come on. Stay there. In the name of Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I sprayed these with perfume. They smell really good. So seriously, the guy was going to, you know, want his 30 bucks. And we're like, no, you know, we're giving away free water and praying for people. Sister Jeanette ministered to him. First Corinthians chapter 6. None of them people are going to get to heaven. And fornicators and all that. And I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. He listened to her. It was pretty cool. And then uh, Sister Mary from the yard sale come over. And she said, yeah, the last time you were here, three people got saved. I'm like, man, there's so many. They're all starting to run together. Let's do this, Jesus. And um, she was telling Janetta how many, you know, just many blessings that had happened. And then the other lady, Brenda, she comes over and was telling us some neat things. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, there's so many people. We literally enjoy going to the abandoned parking lot where they have the yard sales. Because there's so many different people. You know, they're not just, you know, homeless individuals that... That, that don't want a hand up. There are some homeless individuals that do want a hand up. People stop from their cars. They come across the street from the um, gas station. There's just all kind of different people from all walks of life. The, you really get the good, the bad, and the ugly. So it's, it's a pretty good mix, and it's a really busy intersection there. Uh, two or three highways come together, and you got all kind of stuff going on. So, on yesterday, we had a gentleman, he comes in and he says uh, he was an ordained minister and blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. He's telling us about denominations and he's yakking about this and yakking about that. And um, I listened to him. I'm like, well, we were going to pray for him, you know, to have a healing. And then he started talking. I'm like, hmm. So, he had snuff in his mouth. He's sitting there sucking on snuff. And he had already told Sister Mary from the yard sale, she had come over there, that, oh, you know, this is this can of skull. You know, this is my only, you know, this is my only vice. And, you know, I, I'm not giving it up. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I ain't saying nothing. So he keeps talking and he goes to a church. And, and a woman is the pastor. But that ain't biblical according to him. I said, hold it. Yeah, work. That, what, no, what. 
yeah, we're not doing this. I said, what is your purpose? First and foremost, what is your purpose? That's the point, saying, what is your purpose? So he starts rambling on, and I said, okay, let me tell you what the Lord is saying. And I straight up told him what I heard the Lord saying. And I straight up told him, if it was up to me, I would slap the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, I just said that. The phone fell again. That's okay. I would slap the taste out your mouth. And I said, you know what? This ain't left up to me. And the presence of God was so powerful. And the presence of God was so overwhelming. I mean, I personally was in tears. He was in tears. Janetta felt the presence of God. I mean, everybody felt the presence of God. They know the Lord was out in the parking lot with us dealing with this man. He spit his skull out his mouth, okay? Bam! Spit it out. He took some kind of necklace off, threw it out. Sister Jones like, Woo! Yeah, baby! Yeah, it's on! The conviction of the Holy Ghost came over that man. Not only is he cleaning up his, uh, cleaning up his life, the Lord told me you need to clean up his testimony. Sometimes you need to clean up your testimony, saints, so that people can hear the testimony and get saved, not so they can be entertained. Okay, this is about testimonies. I'm sister with a testimony. You're a saint or a soldier with a testimony. Get up out of the pew and be about your father's work. Oh, you're just anti No, I'm not anti-nothing. Except anti, I'm anti-devil, yeah. I don't want nothing to do with him. I'm going to come against him. I'm going to come against everything that he represents. The Lord God Almighty is to be praised and worshipped and glorified. And I'm not going to compromise. You ain't got to like me. You ain't even got to listen to me. I'm not trying to make friends. But I told Brother Robert what the Lord said. If it had been left up to me, I'd have slapped the taste out of his mouth. But it wasn't left up to me. And I told him what the Lord thought of him. The Lord loves him and, and, and you know, he's anointed him and appointed him for such a time as this. Just like you, saints. You've been anointed and appointed for such a time as this. It don't matter what my opinion is. It's what the Lord thinks about you. I'll tell you in a New York minute. I'll tell you in a Texas minute. It don't bother me none. I'm going to tell you the truth because I'm not going to have your blood on my hands. God's got a plan for all of us. We just ain't listening. That was a that was kind of one. And then there was another lady. She was pregnant. And um, she had four children. And, and it, it was just so awesome. She just really has some trauma spirits. And the Lord just... Oh, bless her. She was crying. There was another lady. She was a church lady. She ain't living in sin, but the Lord told her it was time, you know, that she started taking care of herself because she was going to have a lot of people to be taken care of. There were so many. I told Sister Jeanette, I said, there's still going to be another one coming. While we're putting stuff together, this um, black Ethiopian Jew. <laughs> we're like, yeah, a real Jew. Uh a born Jew, not just one by name. That's awesome. And um, his name was Oliver. And uh, Oliver was so gracious. He said, I'm, I've never had Christians like like you two. You, you're not trying to chew me up, spit me out. And we're like, what? Well, you know, you're a physical, natural born Jew. You know, you know the Jews are still God's apple of his eye. He loves them. Oh, come on, telephone. He hasn't turned his back on you. Um, you know, maybe people need to read the Torah. And, uh, of course, he knows what the Torah is because he's a Jew. He's a practicing Jew. He said, let us know he was a conservative, orthodox, Ethiopian Jew. We're like, oh, wow, that's really cool. He's proud of the fact that he was a Jew. I said, oh, I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> But see, we're adopted. We are adopted. The spirit of adoption. And we're Jews through the, adop through the adoption. Yeah, you don't want to tell them that. You really offend them. They spontaneously combust. 
so we had just so many different people yesterday again and then today oh my word Jesus is so awesome guys Jesus is so completely and totally awesome today in the rain we set the tent up behind the library under the trees you know you don't think you're gonna get anybody because it's raining everybody's hold up everybody's hold up where it's warm they scared so we had quite a few that come by today i couldn't do the coffee but you know hey we had we had water and we had honey buns once you get them there then you can tell them about jesus this one guy was antichrist all up and down. Oh my gosh. He was just, ew. Yeah. Just ugly. He's eating our honey buns. I was like, yeah, he don't know. He just got some blessed bread, does he? <laughs> don't know. He's drinking holy water, does he? <laughs> oh, the laugh's on you, devil. Because you eating holy bread. And you are drinking holy water. That is so cool. <laughs> I love people. We have so many people that come by and just sometimes they just want water. But so many more we get to pray for saints. So I just wanted to you know, give you that quick little testimony. No big deal. Um, I think it is a big deal folks aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing it don't cost no money to preach the gospel it don't cost no money to share your testimony so if your excuse is I'm not a 501c3 nonprofit organization and I don't have no money and I need a grant and I need this yeah quit giving lip service get up and be about your father's work You can buy Starbucks coffee. You can go to McDonald's. You, you can run all over the place and spend your money. You can go buy some 97 cent pens and flowers and put them together and make random acts of kindness and bless folks. Keep making excuses. In the meantime, SWAT Church is thriving. We're growing. We are blowing it out of the water Woo! yeah taking the gospel to the people that need it the ones that are in the hedges and the highways god bless you i love y'all as sister with a testimony i love y'all i plead and apply the blood of yahushua hamashiach over you to hide protect and keep you Watch church. Saints with a testimony. <laughs>